Okay guys, welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, so today, we're going to be not just doing new colors, but we're gonna show you um, an entirely new technique to the channel. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of months, just kinda secretly, uh, just trying to get a little bit comfortable with it. Um, but it's, it's a hand pour technique that's not unique to me, um, but it's a really great tool to have. And, uh, it allows you to layer your, your colors really well. It's called the capsule method. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. And it does require um, hand pouring. So I try not to do the same bait twice, but um, I'm really excited about some of the colors that I think we can do with this. And uh, so I'm gonna show it in the hand pour mold again. Um, <clears throat> so basically what, what the capsule method is, is we're taking a base color whether it be clear or maybe a light watermelon or a light blue or just whatever you want and you're basically pouring a small amount of it into the bait and then you're letting it flow around the perimeter to where it kind of forms a shell of plastic so it's like a clear dip before the clear dip and then you add things to the mold within that capsule so to speak um, and you can do as many layers as you want so um, that's what we're going to be doing today so new colors new techniques still a new mold um, I think we can come up with some cool stuff all right so you can see that we have a lot of stuff laid out today several pigments several pearls a couple of glitters um, a little teeny tiny paintbrush um, our molds and then the divider cup, two single cups. Um, so this is gonna be pretty in depth. Um, this is gonna be hopefully uh, some artful bait making and hopefully we get something good. Um, you know, the capsule method allows you to do layers. It's not the same thing as skin pouring where you have like a outer layer of plastic um, over it. Um, but it's, it's kind of similar in style and uh, I guess um, there, there's just kind of a similar thought to it. You know, these are both uh, skin poured. Um, this one's not finished, of course, but you know, you can see this outer layer of plastic. So the whole idea is to get kind of a, a layered look that kind of plays tricks on the eyes and there's sort of some illusions going on. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up our plastic here. This is the floating dead-on plastic, the swim bait blend. Um, I just decided to use floating tonight. Um, just, I, I like how quickly it sets up and it's just wonderful plastic. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna make like a red belly sunfish bluegill thing. Um, so, you know, this is obviously an example of a red belly. Um, so we're gonna do something like that. We'll see what we can come up with, but I've laid out a bunch of things here. I think I have something in mind. Let's get started. All right, so we have our dead on plastic here. And uh, we're gonna do some, one of my favorite colors, Dark, well, Dark Watermelon by MF. We're gonna do a little bit of that, and that's going to be our capsule color, so to speak. Um, so, let me uh, move this over here. Let me try to Maybe scoot the camera in just a little closer. All right. So we're going to go ahead and stir this up. Okay. Yeah, just a very light shade of watermelon. I mean, there is there's not much pigment in there. So that's going to be our capsule, so to speak. All right. And so here's how we do this whole capsule thing. Very carefully. Just gonna pour some in the bottom, okay? And then we're gonna kinda do this number right here, okay? So I'm just gonna kinda angle it, let it flow, let it cover the edges, okay? It'll be a little harder to show it from this side. Well, maybe not, okay? So about halfway up the bait. Gonna make sure that it uh, covers, eh, covers the front, then we're just going to kind of keep rotating it 
until we have um, you know a nice layer so you can see that kind of creates a capsule and yeah I know I'm not wearing my left hand glove it's just easier for me to do it without a glove if you try this at home wear your gloves don't be uh, <clears throat> don't be too sure of yourself and and then wind up with a burn okay so doing that get it up front over the eyes yep okay flip it around get it up over that eye down the sides yeah let it go to the bottom okay that one's done and then last but not least and you can uh you don't want to pour the plastic too hot when you're doing this because then it's just too hard to to kind of control it um, you know you really want to be able to control where it's going to get your capsules the way that you want them okay make sure it fills that in nice all right step number one all right so step number two involves the paintbrush so on the inside of these we're just gonna kinda yeah we're just gonna kinda give this bait a few splotches and we're just kinda splotching these on the inside of the capsule and you can splotch all the way down to the bottom and just kinda depending on how splotchy you want it to be and we're literally just dipping this in pigment straight from the bottle cap of our black pigment okay so do it in there I know it's the lighting is probably a little challenging uh, to capture all this on film but we're doing our best and you know you could do whatever you wanted to here you could put in gold leafing you could do another capsule of a different color to layer maybe a different pigment altogether just since I'm going for a bluegill you know just something natural I'm just doing these little splotchy things here all right and so that's what we're doing okay and here we have our splotched capsules all right all three molds then the next step is we're gonna pour a red belly these are gonna be red belly brim all right and red belly in the brim world really kind of means orange so I'm gonna give this just a few drops of dead on orange four is probably good that stuff is quite thick all right so go ahead and mix up our orange yeah looking good looking just about right and then we're gonna add some small black flake to it all right so here's our little black flake 0 0.1 or uh, 0 0.015 all right put that in the orange there set that aside just kind of give it a little quick hand stir there yeah that's kind of what it's gonna look like okay and then for these just kind of get this up and a little closer just a little bit in the belly yep just about like that and we're gonna kind of angle this for just a second just kind of keep it angled and, and really you can prop it up on something you can get your uh, you know your rag and just prop it up like that and just kind of keep it angled how you want it um, so that's what we're doing we're just pouring just pouring these little red belly sunfish here all right so we have our divider cup and we're gonna do like a uh, kind of aqua blue and white pearl swirl within these two capsules so I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue pearl powder all right and then we're gonna give it a little bit of green some emerald green that will kind of make it an aqua color when you kind of mix those two up so about three drops of that and then over on the other side we're just gonna do straight pearl white okay all right pearl white on that side all right so let's get these mixed in let's start with the blue or the aqua blue it's a little hard to mix up powders in the divider cup just uh, just kind of the way that it 
you know your knife can't really stir too much but yeah that's kind of a nice kind of a nice aqua blue there yeah looking good and then uh, we'll get the other side obviously the other side's white pearl y'all all know what that looks like so let's try and do this quickly okay yeah nice white pearl alrighty so those are gonna be our two halves um, we're gonna add one more slight effect we're gonna add a little bit of gold pearl just a little bit so that you can just see a few pigments of gold uh, to that blue side it actually makes a really cool effect um, so let me go ahead and get that get that gold pearl mixed in come on baby yeah well there's gold pearl stuck to the knife but it has it has a pretty neat neat little effect and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these cool down um, because I want a defined swirl and not a blended mix together I want to pour these cold from the divider cup and kind of wiggle my hand that way they'll get a defined swirl and when the plastics cool enough they'll they'll kind of stay in the pattern that you pour them in if you if you were to try to blend those two together super hot they're just gonna kind of mix together um, so we're gonna wait for these to cool down to about 315 degrees 310 and then we're gonna pour them in and real quick I almost forgot I wanted to add some blue pigment to it um, because that just darkens it up just a smidge so that's a uh, phthalo blue the lure works we'll mix that in real call cool. perfect yeah you can see how much darker that is already um, yeah that'll and that will just give this a little more contrast with the white side so um, you know what? let's go ahead and check temperature 248 that's not right hold on people <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna kind of try to hold this at an angle where you can see it so we're just gonna kind of pour this in and just kind of do that little number right there okay and you can see how it kind of swirls together and I want to hold the mold at an angle to where that plastic doesn't go all the way into the tail so we're just gonna kind of hold it there and a trick I like to do is I like to blow on the tail part to really cool down that tail that way when I set the mold flat it won't spill past the tail so you'll notice that that's not moving anymore and then we have that nice swirl up in the front and uh, and again I'll do the same thing on this one okay just kind of swirl those two in all right and we're just gonna kind of hold it blow on that tail to try to stop the flow Okay, and then we can set that one flat and that will kind of let it even out so we're gonna do that to the third one and then we're ready for the final step all right in the final color here we're gonna take um, the same color as before the uh, MF dark watermelon but we're just gonna do a little more of it uh, and by that I mean we're just gonna make the color thicker and then we're gonna add some medium black flake that's 0.035 so this is just kind of a straight kind of watermelon seed green pumpkin color and uh, all right we're just gonna kind of mix that in like that real quick if you do choose to stir in your glitter like that always wear gloves and be extremely careful all right and now we're just gonna pour our top layer very good on down into the tail all right tails full mold is full perfect that's all she wrote all right voila we're gonna let these sit for five or ten minutes um, then we're gonna take them out we're gonna give them a quick dip in the bath over here and uh, then we're gonna attach some eyes and dip them and uh, hopefully this turns out to be a, a pretty cool layered color 
um, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, you know, when especially when you see it in person or really look at it up close, you can tell there's something else going on there, and um, the capsule method kind of makes the illusion uh, come to life. And um, it's a really great way to add layers on the side of a bait. So if you think about most traditional baits, <coughs> especially hand pours you usually see vertical layers you know you you see a, a bottom color maybe a middle vein and then a top color but you really don't see too many layers horizontally on the side of the bait um, and this kind of allows you to start thinking horizontally instead of just vertically um, what can i do to create layers to add depth and realism to my colors from the sides and skin pouring like this and capsuling like that i think really kind of allows you to do that all right let's uh take one out here and see what we get so always kind of start from the tail come on baby come on kind of peel the mold apart yeah yeah check that out y'all there you go and that black is inside a layer so is the orange belly and it's soon to be inside another layer so I think that's I think it's really really awesome um, and you can take this to the extreme you know you can pour more than just one capsule layer you can layer up one layer um, like a watermelon like I did maybe with some splotches or whatever color you whatever pattern you want to put on there and then maybe another layer um, inside of that that maybe has some pearl in it or like uh, maybe some of the um, leafing or a different pattern in a different color I mean you can go to the absolute extreme I'm sure uh, you know you can even get little micro injectors and squirt different colors in there just to make this crazy mirage and uh and just keep you know filling it up with layers um but that's kind of an example of a simple layer so to speak or uh, or a simple capsule so um here they are in the bath and uh, we're gonna let those set up pop some eyes on them and then add the final layer <laughs> technically we're gonna clear dip these yeah i hope that's in the frame there we go yeah i hope that uh i, I think that looks really good um, it's a really, really cool eyeball. It comes from uh, Stanks Baits, uh, where a lot of my molds come from. So uh, if you're looking for some good eyes, check them out. I uh, think you will be uh, very, very, very satisfied. So we're going to eyeball up the rest of them and dip them. All right. Clear dip time. Bait number one. We're just going to go right past that last little uh, fin there. Okay. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry. All right. Let's see. We're gonna bring this down just a smidge. Way I can cut that off. Yeah. So there it is. First dipped bait going in the bath, and then of course, last little part. Clip off the nose. There we go. We have a completely finished kind of red belly bluegill sunfish deal and um, you know when you when you look at it in certain light the the watermelon capsule color that we poured it kind of gives that blue like a really nice green hue to it that you know the only way you would be able to achieve that is to clear dip it in that color but we chose to do it first and it just creates some cool layers and you know when you're looking at these in person you can tell you know those colors are not right there on the edge of the bait you know you you can tell that the blue is not on the outside just under the clear dip you can tell that it's within the bait it's it kind of creates an illusion and uh and you can create some really really awesome stuff i'm just kind of scratching the surface here you know this is what I would consider a simple uh, execution of that technique and you know 
and even this is you know i think a really cool color it actually turned out quite well and you know just to kind of demonstrate look at the color of the blue white swirl there and then look at it in the tail that is not capsulated um you know you can just kind of see some of the contrast and and you can really see some of the layers up in the head or up in the nose of the bait you, know, you can really tell that orange is way down in there the blue is way down in there you can tell that the black splotches have not been painted um, right on the exterior of the bait they're within it um, which i think gives it a really cool kind of optical it almost plays a trick on you like how did that get in there um, and i think that's really really something unique to that method all right and now we got them kind of in a little light box shout out to austin uh, i believe it was austin who uh turned me on to this little thing i had one of these a long time ago um it was kind of homemade uh, my sister and i built it and uh and it actually kind of worked quite well we had uh, a light source coming from the bottom of it as well but this isn't bad um you know, I just want to try to get a good thumbnail. So we're just going to kind of, yeah, how does that look, y'all? We're just going to kind of take a, take a couple pictures here. That will really, really bring out the lighting on these. So, yeah, there's our thumbnail, hopefully. Um, huh. So, that's, uh, yeah, something that I'm trying out. Well, everybody, um, Thank you so much for checking this one out. The capsule method. Uh, if you're a hand pourer, give it a shot. You know, you can do this in a worm. You can do it um, in, uh, obviously, a swim bait. You can do it in a, uh, in a frog. Um, you know, just anything that kind of has enough space to allow you to work. You know, I, I think it's probably more common in swim baits because they're, they're usually pretty uh, thick on the top. And, you know, that just that kind of allows you some space to work with a, a little thin worm would be quite tricky although I'm sure you could do it um, but yeah you know that's just one of many many cool things that you can do um, and it's it's still relatively new to me I've only been kind of trying it out experimenting with it for uh, a couple of months probably three or four months um, and once I got kind of this new mold a mold that I had three of, you know, I, I kind of really started doing it more. Um, I did it uh, a couple times with the big seven inch mold and the eight inch mold um, that you've seen on here before. Um, so we'll definitely use that mold in the future to do some cool capsule uh, colors. But um, yeah, there's kind of a, uh, a red belly kind of natural bluegill. And uh, I think the capsule method really allows you to do some really, really cool stuff. Um, so these will, uh, I mean, they, they look good. They're like it's like the color comes out when you put them in the in the bath water. So underwater, in the water, these are gonna really really shine. And uh, I just love the way that the layers change the colors depending on your angle, and uh, and the way that the colors are recessed within the bait. Um, it's really really cool. And like I said. I'm sure there's some guys that have really taken this to the extreme that have years of experience. Um, I don't think it's a well-known technique necessarily. I don't see a lot of it, um, but I, I probably see it sometimes when I don't know that that's what I'm seeing, um, especially in pictures. So um, definitely try it out, capsule method. Try it on a worm, try it in a frog. Shoot me pictures. Uh, you know, if, if you do try something like this, um, the capsule stuff, Hey, send me, uh, send me your pictures. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, so, as usual, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know how you think. Chris, that's really cool. Chris, I didn't like those so much. And, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Your support helps keep the channel going. Hopefully this is a, uh, a, a cool video and, and a cool color. I think so. It's a new technique, a new method, something new to try, something new to learn. And uh, that's what we're trying to do here. So... With that said, we're gonna sign off. It's getting a little late. Gotta go to bed, tomorrow's a work day. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the world's worst fishing.